Joining us with her new line of gluten-free plant-based cookie mixes called Autumn Sun's Baking Company is Audrey Dunham. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Wonderful to be here. So when did your love for baking start? Well, my mom is a wonderful baker. Yeah. She baked with me as, when I was a kid, and it was just magical for me. I loved every minute baking with my mom, especially during the holidays. And now I'm trying to pass that on to my twin sons as well. Oh, uh, that's awesome. What about this uh, cookie line, Autumn Sun's? Autumn Sun's Baking Company is a top nine allergen-free baking mix line, but the goal was to make them decadent so you couldn't tell. Yeah. So they are perfect for those who want to bring a tray of cookies to a party or to give as a gift, but not have to make any apologies mm -hmm. for them being gluten-free or dairy-free. Just don't tell anybody, and then they're like, oh, this is so good. Exactly. You tell them <laughs> after, after the fact. Yeah. Said, by the way, and then they're always surprised. All right, so your husband is uh, ventriloquist and comedian Jeff Dunham. He's here supporting you today. He is. He's there. Yes. Uh, has he always been impressed with your baking skills? Oh, he's been very sweet, and in fact, he's my biggest cheerleader Aww. and my number one taste tester. I truly couldn't do it without him. He's the best. Okay, and I was peeking at the four different flavors. Yes. Um, so basically, you just pick, chose four to start with. These are the four that we've yes. launched with. We launched just a couple of months ago. We have our chocolate chunk here, mm -hmm. and double chocolate chunk, the oatmeal cinnamon, and our classic sugar cookie. And what's great about okay. the sugar cookie is you can choose to do some easy drop cookies like I have done, and I added sprinkles too. Or you can roll them out and create cutout cookies with the shapes. Mm. Yes. And so you're saying it's super easy to make. Yes. Yeah. And that was the goal. I wanted mm. them to be approachable for anybody, whether they had phenomenal baking skills or they were just beginning and easy enough for even kids to make. So all you have to do is add some oil and water and I'll show you how to make them now. Okay. Which yes. one is your husband's is favorite? Oh, Jeff, <laughs> his favorite is the double chocolate. That's the one I yes. picked too. It is good. Wow. <laughs> and uh, I have to say, my one. son James, that's his favorite mm. as well. My other son Jack, actually, I have to point this out. They are on the package. My two little boys. Yeah. Um, autumn sons, they're my autumn sons. Oh, I Our see autumn them. sons. They're born in October, so this was named for them. Okay. Our oh, autumn that's sons. Nice. And if you look closely on the packaging, you can see them doing fun activities, yeah. and drawings, and they're doing something different on each flavor. So. Uh, so all you do... Yeah, let's get to work here. Yes, let's see. So we have the chocolate chunk today. Uh -huh. Simply add it to our bowl. And I like to use a canola oil, but any type of neutral flavored oil will work fantastically. And it's... For this flavor, we just do three tablespoons. And then we add a little bit of water. I'm doing one teaspoon. Say. Actually, we're going to bring our table. Oops, hang on a second. Water here. How much water? So water is one teaspoon plus one tablespoon. Okay. And there we are. And then you just mix, and that's it. And the thing is with this dough, you want a drier dough. Yeah. It's not like that sticky, gooey dough that we yeah, grew yeah. up with. So you're aiming for a drier dough just until the dough comes together and you can create dough balls. And that's it. And you just place them on the baking sheet. And cook them for like how long? Eight to ten minutes. Oh wow, that's easy. So was truly. There of, was there a lot of trial and error coming up with the right combination of the oil and the water? And the... Oh, like you wouldn't believe. I mean, we've, <laughs> <laughs> we've made hundreds of cookies yeah. in, our, in our kitchen and we have our freezer still full, uh, loaded with frozen cookies. Mm -hmm. They actually freeze very well. So we always have frozen cookies in our kitchen and it's nice you can just kind of walk by, snap off a piece from the freezer and yeah. have a nice little And where can we treat. find these? These can be found on Amazon. Yeah. Um, and actually they're available in Canada as well if you have mm. Canadian friends out there. Canadian, uh, so Amazon.ca but also Amazon.com and then AutumnSunsBaking.com is our website. Perfect. You can follow along on our baking journey. What about the Amazon grocery stores? Oh, not yet. Not but yet? Yeah, we just launched a couple months ago. That is definitely on our list. We'll I love that you say not it. yet. Yes. That's the way to say it, yes. right? Well, it's going to happen. Congratulations. Thank congratulations, you so much. taster, husband taster. Yes. <laughs> so I'm sure along the way he's probably going, like, yeah, honey, I think that needs a little more work. Mm. Oh, he, the, the feedback has been so great. He's always helpful. He say, oh, a little. A little um, more sugar, I think. And that, that's always, um, I'm happy to add more sugar because truly well, we wanted these to taste like a treat and a dessert, not like something that was too healthy or a sacrifice in any way for those mm -hmm. who need um, a special treat because of um, dietary 
have. Yeah. Again, gluten-free and plant-based. Yes, Thank you. Exactly. Congratulations. Thank right. you so much. All right, for more information on these plant-based cookie mixes, you can go to autumnsunsbaking.com and follow on social media. And as we said, you right now you can purchase them on uh, Amazon and there's more places to come.